You may recognise Dr Darren Saunders for his appearances on TV as an expert commentator. But before he was a Deputy Chief Scientist and Engineer for New South Wales, he was a biology student and later PhD candidate and teacher here at UOW. In 2024, Darren was awarded the Alumni Award for Professional Excellence for his commitment to science communication. Hey Darren, how you going? Good, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming back to uni today. That's a real pleasure. Bit of a weird spot that we're meeting in, but this is kind of significant for you, right? It is. I used to live just up the street here. Yeah. Uh, and so this was my sort of way into uni every morning. Yeah. And I hear you had a pretty interesting share house too. We did. We had an interesting collection of housemates. Yeah. Uh, a lot of biologists living together, which yeah. always makes life interesting. Yeah. So I think we're going to take a little trip down memory lane today and hear about your time at UOW. Does that sound good? Sounds awesome. Awesome. Let's go. We're just at the bottom of Mount Kira here, which probably brings back a few memories for you. Yeah, it does. I spent a lot of time up on the escarpment around Mount Kira. Yeah. You study biology in a place like this, you've got the rainforest, you've got the ocean just down the road, so you're kind of surrounded by what you're studying. So before we take this trip down memory lane, tell us who you are. I'm Darren Saunders. I'm the Deputy Chief Scientist for New South Wales, and I studied biology and did my PhD in Wollongong. What was it like when you were a student? I started in 1991 and did my undergrad down here. Uh, and it looked very different. There were a lot less buildings and a lot fewer trees and a lot less people. Yeah, what was the atmosphere like in the 90s when you started? Oh, it was great. Really good social life, lots of great bands playing on campus um, and just living in a beautiful place like Wollongong. What was it about Wollongong that really drew you? A, it was the surroundings. It's just an amazing campus, but also the, the subjects I was interested in studying. This was just the best place to come and study it. So where are we heading now? This is a little creek, I don't know what the creek's called, but there's a lot of frogs live in this creek. Uh, and so you may even still find biology students sitting up here at night time with tape recorders. Actually, I can hear a frog right now. We would come out here and play recordings of frog noises and then wait for them to call back to us. But, you know, it's where you're learning to do field observation and, um, and identify different species. Well, we're here at the creek, so let's see if you can still identify some of those frogs. Let's see, how we go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> well, I think this looks like a pretty nice spot to sit. What was it like for you to have the campus backyard is essentially your field. It's just a breath of fresh air and in fact it's one of the main things that attracted me to studying here was to be able to study on this amazing campus. As a PhD you're teaching students as well. What was it like going from that student to teacher role? Yeah it was really fun and I mean you still are a student as a PhD so you're just a few years ahead of the undergrads that you're then helping to teach and that's really fun because you sort of understand where they're coming from and their curiosity and excitement at learning all this new stuff but you're able to help them understand and work their way through it sharing that knowledge, why is that so important for you? If you don't talk about science and nobody understands what science is about and how it applies to our everyday lives, then there's not much point doing it. And we need people to be able to make good decisions and we need them to understand the things that are going on around them. And so being able to tell people about that science and technology is a really important part of that. I think we're going to keep trekking down memory lane and uh, see where we end up. Sounds good. Awesome. So how does it feel to be back on campus today? It's really nice actually, it's yeah. kind of like a second home this place. Yeah. We're getting to enjoy the scenery here too, does yeah. it look mostly the same? Some places are very familiar, but some parts of the campus are completely unrecognisable. All the trees have grown up, it's matured incredibly. Yeah, it's paid off, yeah. Did you always want to be a scientist? Yeah, I did. I always had that um, innate curiosity, you know, I always wanted to know how things worked and I spent a lot of time as a kid in nature. And the thing about science is that it sort of scratches that itch of curiosity. So you get to discover things. Uh, you might peer down a microscope one day and see something that no one's ever seen before, which is pretty cool. How do you think your experience here helped you? One of the amazing things I got from studying here was sort of a huge network of people that I still draw on in all sorts of different ways to help me with my work. Um, and that allow me to stay really connected to what's going on in, in really different fields of science. We are approaching the hockey fields now. Spent a lot of time on that pitch, lost a lot of skin on that pitch oh. over the years. Um, I've still got really close mates that, um, that I've made through playing sport here, both cricket and hockey, um, and we've stayed really close mates ever since. Well, this courtyard is a pretty beautiful spot to study. Yeah, and this is probably the one place that does look really familiar. Oh. The lab that I worked in was here, yeah. chemistry building next door, yeah. What's your hope or vision for the future of UOW? My, my real hope for UOW is that it continues to stand on its own and, and grabs hold of this amazing identity that it's got and really just builds a sustainable future for the university and for everyone that's here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Memory Mobile today. It's been great, Lizzie. Thank you. No worries. I think we've got to get you back to Sydney. Back to work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks so much. Great.